So you wake up one morning and everything has changed. You just feel like crying. Your life was rearranged and you wonder where you're going cause you know you can't stay here. So you pick up the pieces and release yourself from fear. You stand because you care. You brush yourself off and then you stand because you care. And flow of the water as it moves down these incredible mountains into this lake that is a reciprocal of all movement. So when I broke my neck in these mountains, in this beautiful place called the Kootenai Valley, I needed to come back to this, to the simplicity, to the ease and the fluidity of very natural innate movement. And as it starts to occur in the spine, like in the trunk of the trees or the base of the mountains, then the water can evaporate or move and expand down the limbs, out the limbs, back to the earth, to the source, and back to the heavens, to that source. So these are our roots, these are our origins, and these are really important to remember when we're using this territory, not just as an ambulatory person, but as anyone who needs to remember this basic innate part of life in themselves. quite a journey, probably one of the most incredible journeys in my life so far. So you wake up one morning and everything has changed. You just feel like crying. Your life was rearranged. We all have obstacles, and they're mostly our own ones in our mind that we contrive about who we are and what we are. And those are the biggest obstacles in the end, because uh, it, it, that's a question that should never be questioned. Our divine right is to be, you know, who we are and, and what we are. I think the biggest message I could give to anybody who's perhaps in a situation where you're dealing with the obstacles that seem insurmountable, that you wouldn't have been given those unless you had been very much entrusted to their gifts and that to rise up and accept them and yourself in that and also then the lessons is um, the best gift you can give back to life which is I think for all of us a pretty beautiful gift. So I don't come up sitting a lot these days, uh, that's fine, as much as I used to, except to appreciate this beautiful view that uh, is, you know, I, I mean, how could we not be in the moment? Wow, what a place. I'm very emotional. So standing up is kind of emotional because we bring ourselves back up into the world. What the common trend is, which is to put you in a wheelchair. So I dealt with a lot of scoliosis, which we can still see in my body. And that's um, going away, We're counteracting that by not sitting in the chair, pushing wheels that are one way, <laughs> unilateral. So this cross movement is always part of what, how we move, how we walk, how we, uh, originate. So I, I don't sit up a lot, as I said, but I, I will do it for that purpose, just to, to be involved in, in our world. Because when you're lying down, you're a lot more internal. And we want to go out there and explore. So that's why we stood up in the first place, probably.
the connectivity of the fluid system to the electrical system in the body. And for me, I, I can feel those systems better than I can feel the ones that you feel. Because it's still moving, you know, a spasm is movement. So is nerve pain, so is, you know, whatever you're getting. It's, it's, still, it's still communication. So my job has just been not to ever turn that off. You know, keep it going, whatever feeling is feeling, if it's pain, if it's pleasure, if it's something I don't know, just keep, keep acknowledging it and keep, you know, inviting it, essentially. People who were in my exact same state, you know, I had no arm movement when I was first injured. I had no arm movement at all. And a woman very similar to us, now her arms, can't I even leave her chest? Because she's been, you know, given the drugs, now they, what if they, they're operating on her? It, it's tragic, actually. It's really tragic. I mean, it makes us cry oh, yeah. every time we talk. Yeah. So it's got to change. I mean, we've been, we went to the doctors a year and a half ago when things got really wacky, and I had a 55 degree scoliotic spine here, 35 here and 15 here, from sitting in the chair and from being in a position that they, you know, they, in their best interest, think is the best thing to do in, you know, in their training. And, uh, and so that was, you know, I'm still unwinding that, um, that, um, and in that unwinding, I've been through, I decided to go through their whole sort of um, way of doing things for a couple months just to see what happened. You know, I took their drugs, I did this and that, and I did all sorts of things, and what um, came out of it was this um, incredible um, place of shock and also revelation, you know, of just, wow, there's, there's a lot more to this than meets the eye and it's not being addressed, so that's what we're going to do. I really believe in what Rick's doing and the foundation is a fabulous organization uh, and we as a community in SCI, spinal cord people, directly and indirectly are at an incredible time where the cure is around the corner, the, the movement for research and for our understanding and also what the Hanson Foundation does is essentially providing quality of life tools for people so that they can go on through the you know, the devastation and the chaos. What may be the, the pivotal thing in that journey is actually your mind and how you approach that obstacle and how you are when you meet that obstacle in real time. Because no matter, as you know, when you go out to the mountains, how good you are physically, it's mentally how you meet that challenge that makes the difference if you're going to actually overcome it and come out successfully or not. The pinnacle, or the place that we all want to reach in ourselves, is the same place externally as it is internally. And so if anything, the journey that I've been on through a spinal cord injury and having lost the use of my body temporarily in the same way that you would understand it has been to understand how to, to be at peace in this place all the time. And we are nature. Your life was real.